This video is brought to you by Squarespace. As you can probably imagine, I always get super excited whenever I see a new style of parkour start to get popular. And over the last few years, we've actually had quite a few new styles. We started to see the Ascent Descent style get popularized by Avenger Max Cave. And just last year, we saw loads of that tricking parkour hybrid style. But now, in 2021, we have started to see a brand new style called Monkey Style. So today, we're in a rather sunny London to meet the young man who is pioneering this new style in parkour. How you doing, man? Yeah, I'm good. Nice sunny day today. I know, it's getting warm as well. Orlando is a young free runner from London. He's only 17 years old, yet is one of the best athletes in the game right now. He's part of a very well-known parkour team called Team Fat. Monkey development in progress. Found something that feels quite good. Oh. Team Fat, as the name suggests, focus on fat, big jumps. And prior to about one year ago, Orlando was pretty much just known for that, for having massive jumps, big flips, and clean landings. He was never really known for his flow. However, that was until very recently. About six months ago, Orlando started to pioneer a brand new style in parkour. Oh yeah, that's it. So I was kind of wondering, why is it called monkey style? There's nothing overtly obvious when you look at it that would define it as being monkey. So how is it different to normal parkour? One of the main things I noticed is that in normal parkour, athletes are very upright. It's usually based on their feet and they stand up tall like a human does. But when Orlando does monkey style, he does something different. It was like he's always leading with his arms. Instead of just jumping up onto this, he'd always go like, lead with the hands. So if you watch monkeys do parkour, they always go hands first like it's their legs. But it's also a mixture of like a couple of distinctive moves that make it look very monkey, like lazies, 180 dive kongs. The more I watch Orlando's style, I started to notice there are a few very distinct moves that he does a lot of. On their own, these moves are relatively simple. Things like lazies, reverse vaults, but most importantly, splatbacks. Splatbacks were one of these moves that people didn't really do much of. You'd see Benj and Max Cave do tic tacs quite a lot, but splats just weren't a thing people really did. Most of the time, if someone does a splat, it's because they attempted an arm jump that was way too big for them, and they had to bounce off the wall to avoid hurting themselves. But Orlando took this relatively mundane move and turned it into something interesting. The way he does splat back stuff, he's got like all different types of splat back. Two feet, splatting just off his feet, Kong splat. Yeah. I was copying the Kong splat. That's something I was inspired by him. It looks so nice. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, you could copy one of Orlando's lines, move for move, and yet it still wouldn't look monkey. So there must be something more. Also just the speed of it. If you watch monkeys train, they like bounce on the walls kind of thing. Yeah. Splatbacks and stuff like that. You get across a building, they'll like run along the side of a wall, just yeah. kind of bounce about to get somewhere. So if I was to try and define monkey style parkour as opposed to just normal parkour, I'd probably say it just looks more monkey-like. I know what you're thinking, that was a terrible explanation. So let me try and elaborate. When you see a monkey move, they're just very bouncy. Everything they do will lead into something else and they just ping off of everything and move quickly. There is a kind of rhythm and flow to the way that monkeys move that when you see free runners, they just don't have. But Orlando's monkey style is totally different to that. It's springy, it's bouncy, and it's spontaneous. It's not obvious what he's going to do next, much like a monkey. Before we go any further, if you've been looking to build a professional looking website, look no further than Squarespace. In the world of entrepreneurs, I've noticed quite a lot that people often overlook the importance of a good looking website. You have all these great ideas, but when it comes to your website, it just looks unprofessional and it's really hard to navigate. And for a lot of people, their website lets down their whole business. Squarespace makes building websites so easy. Not only do they offer a ton of seamless, professional looking website templates, but on top of that, they have a ton of useful features. 
such as e-commerce, members only content and email marketing, giving you that high quality look and feel that truly reflects your business. I personally use Squarespace for my old clothing brand and I can tell you it is the perfect platform for building websites. So make sure you head over to squarespace.com for your free trial and to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using the code Jimmy the Giant. Anyway, back to the video. Hey. Hey. <laughs> right, so we are here with the one and only Mr. Orlando. Hello. Everyone just says oh, monkey when I'm like doing movements. Monkey yeah. see, monkey do. A lot of it is just like reverses, like lazies, 180 dive comms yeah. we've been doing recently. Why is it called monkey? Like looks like a monkey, just looks natural, I guess. It was kind of interesting seeing Orlando go from doing these massive, ridiculous power moves into focusing more on flow and style. Usually when this happens, it means that the athlete has injured themselves and they're kind of full to take less impact. But for Orlando, that wasn't the case. He never got injured, so why did he start moving like this? I've been doing chase tag over the summer. In chase tag, you're always using your hands, ducking, coming up, changing directions everywhere. Sort of like implemented that into like parkour. So sort of like a chase tag run, but like just a bit more doing more parkour. In World Chase Tag, you are forced to think on your feet. You don't have time to come up with runs like we do when we're out training parkour. You just kind of have to react to whoever's chasing you. And when you're being chased, you have to constantly move and change direction. So you might be running one way and then they go the other. So you have to quickly turn and go get them. And it is those skills that has led to the monkey style. Sometimes I'll just, just do something and then imp improvise the run. Mm. And I'd like how that feels. I'll do that at another point part of the spot and then I'll try and like connect them as well. It's kind of funny because there's this misconception from the general public that when you go out to do parkour, you just open the front door of your house, go for a run and jump over buildings. And that's not what we do. For the vast majority of people doing parkour, we go to a spot, we find challenges and then do those challenges. It's very calculated, it's very thought out and it's very planned. But what Orlando is doing is the opposite. It's improvised, it's spontaneous, and it's what monkeys do. What, off this stage? Yeah, definitely. Right now. Oh, fuck. You just have to have the ways of joining stuff together on lock, and then you can just keep going. And there's sort of like connection moves. So if you want to bounce off a wall, you like kong up, bounce, you're in another direction. Yeah. There's the least amount of time on the wall. You want to jump straight away. Oh, that looks like sick. That. <laughs> well, others, like, you do other variations. Like that. Oh, that's sick. Well, like the 180 dives as well. Yes. And I just saw this one. Oi. Like, these moves aren't really scary. You just you have to find the right timing. Yeah. Because when I'm doing it, I try and have as least amount of pauses so I want to keep like as soon as I hit the wall I want to bounce off straight away I don't like it when I land and have to run to another point to get to it yeah. I want to try and find the best way where I can get there and jump straight to that point oh my does Orlando God. inspire how you train yeah 100% we're all trying to be like him <laughs> the monkey style is so cool it's hard not to want to try it it feels so satisfying when you get a run like that and it'll be a run like you never thought of like doing before but then when you get it it just feels like it was always meant to be done Training around these guys, there's a different vibe. Whenever I see Orlando moving, I'm like, I'm inspired to just try it. I think he's the same. When you see someone doing something, goes over there and just has a go. Oi. I only really became aware that Orlando was doing this style like three or four months ago. When I was digging through his Instagram, I saw this clip from April 22nd in 2020. which I think you can sort of see some of the early seeds of this style be planted. A lot of people recently, people have been DMing me saying, monkey movement, and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> what, with their clips? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. An athlete called Lorenzo wrote this really amazing Instagram caption all about monkey style. And he talks about how Orlando moves with a rhythm and to kind of consider your footsteps and your hand placements as like a beat of a drum. 
It's been really cool lately because I've seen more and more athletes be inspired by this style. Yes! Team Fat, what are you saying? I think I've seen them. This is Orlando. Now, Benj and Max have been into their tic tacs and direction changes for quite a while, and Orlando credits them for some inspiration. But it's been really cool seeing some of the Stora guys adopt this type of style. You can see them doing 180 dive kongs and trying to minimize the amount of running between walls in their lines. There is another athlete called Matthew McCreary, who is somehow a super underrated athlete, who you could argue also trains monkey style. His approach is slightly different to Orlando's. It's more flip based and it's more stylistic. But what's really cool to see about Matt McCreary is that he trains out in nature like a monkey. It's honestly pretty amazing to watch, so definitely check him out and go and follow him. So the thing I've like really noticed with this monkey style is how much it like unlocks a spot if you think of like your parkour skills it's like a toolkit that can be made up of like your precision your climb ups your flips the more moves that you have when you go to a spot the more options it unlocks oh. 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 So like every free runner will have been to a spot and complain that there's like nothing to do they go there and there's just like one or two jumps they get bored really quick and move spot but when you think of like Orlando's style, if you go to what most people would consider a boring spot, Orlando will be able to find stuff to do. And so in turn, he'll have more fun at that spot. Whereas if the only thing that you train are big standing precisions, you're probably gonna find a lot of spots to be boring. Trying to implement those kind of monkey elements to my run. They are quite fun. It makes it feel like you're linking it better together. God, I need to work off these mince pies. Oh, yeah. I'm just not gonna stick that. I don't know why. It's fun to do anyway. It's all about what's gonna give you the best direction change next. You can go like straight yeah. back. When you're coming up to here, you're already thinking about preying out. Like, I'm preying out. Multiple. There's so many different ways to direction change. The thing that's cool about doing that kind of run, once you've got all those little bits on lock, you eventually get to a point where you can like freestyle your run. So like instead of always premeditating and thinking what you're gonna do next, you can kind of just figure stuff out as you go. And that's kind of like the ultimate point where you can just run at something and come up with cool parkour lines. That's the goal. All of this did have me wondering something, which is that Orlando kind of has two different styles right now. There's fat Orlando who does the big jumps, the big flips, etc. And then there's monkey Orlando. So something I'm really curious to find out is what is monkey style going to evolve into next? I want to try and combine them. Combine like say a big flip or a big like running crew or something like that. And then go into some flow and then go yeah. into another big like jump or something like that. But yeah, yeah. it's really hard. After spending a whole day learning about this style, I instantly recognized the day after when I went out training that I had started to take some of Orlando's ideas and put them into my training. And I was finding so many more things to do at the spots that I train at all the time. And it was super fun. It's great when you can go to a spot that you think you've done everything at and find endless new things because you've got new ideas. But there's something more important than it simply being fun. And that is, this style is very accessible. Look, we all love watching Dom Tomato hurtling two stories and doing a front flip, but I hate to say it, most of us probably aren't ever gonna do that. To me, monkey style presents a more accessible way of training because all of the little things that make up this style are pretty easy to learn. And regardless how strong and how big your jump is, if you know the key elements of monkey style, you'll be able to find loads of stuff to do at spots. In the past, especially when I was new to parkour, I used to see parkour as very fragmented. I would go to a spot and I would just see the obvious things. There'd be a standing jump, a running jump, and maybe an arm jump, and then that was it. But more and more lately, I'm seeing free runners focus on building a general bodily awareness, creating these long, interesting lines as opposed to just isolated jumps. And it's really cool because it allows for the creativity of the individual to really shine. And it doesn't reduce parkour to just simply being big challenges. It's crazy to me how over 30 years of this sport existing, 
We continuously see new styles come all the time. And I gotta admit, I'm super curious to see how this style is gonna play out in World Chase Tag. I wonder how Team Fat are gonna do. <laughs> If you want to learn how to do this monkey style, Orlando has put together a whole tutorial over on the Team Fat channel, so check that out and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. The parkour bucket list is out now, so go and get one of them. Every single purchase massively helps me out. You can also support by donating to me on Patreon or using the sponsored link below. Peace.